Okay, so now we've covered VE table tuning and injector data. I want to talk a little bit about what needs to be done to tune for a cam change to get you in the ballpark and get you started before you can start driving the car and logging to tune it in. So we're going to go into engine, airflow, main VE, and we're going to set up our base fuel map to get started. So what I like to do is come down here in the idle RPM and pressure areas on the VE table and I like to take them times 0.75 which is so 75 percent of what they currently are because cams with overlap are less efficient at idle RPMs so we have to compensate for that so that we're not super rich right off the bat to where the car won't even idle and then we're just kind of gonna we're gonna go along and smooth this up and I'm gonna go over here and take that times 0.85 and this here times 0.85 and I'm gonna go over here 0.9 and then I'm going to go down here in the wide open areas from like 4000 RPM up in the wide open pressures like the last two columns and I'm going to take that times 1.15 to increase that a little bit And then I'm going to go down to the next row and bump that up a little. And just kind of go along like that, smoothing it down. And then I like to go up here and since with the cam we'll probably be spinning more RPMs as well I want to go ahead and level this off to make sure we've got that fuel there if, as we spin more RPMs Then I'm going to take, I'm going to highlight that whole table and I'm going to smooth it. And now we've got a starting point for fueling where we can idle and run, drive, at least have the fueling in the ballpark so that we can drive it with, and it will run just fine. Then we're going to go into idle airflow. And we're going to take the whole table for all temperatures and add 2 grams per second to the whole table. Okay, so now that we have our VE table set up so that we have a base fuel map that will be in the ballpark with the cam, and we have some additional airflow at idle set up. We want to go ahead and bump up our idle speed. So we're going to go in the idle RPM base set point.
I'm going to go ahead and just get this whole table. And this is just conditions like in gear with the AC on or off, park with the AC on or off, and all your engine coolant temperatures. So, you know, at colder temps, you're going to idle faster. And as you're, you get up to operating temp, your idle is going to slow down. But we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to increase this whole thing by 250. So when we're fully warmed up, we're going to be idling about 900 RPM. And that'll just help us, that'll give us a base to get this car started and to idle in the ballpark on the air fuel ratio. And we can start logging and tuning and dialing this in. Get our air fuel ratio dialed in with the VE table. Fine tune how to fine tune the air base idle airflow and then go from there but we'll uh